just try to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having no. us here. It's an honor. It's an incredible. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's visit to South Florida is primarily focused on her preparations for the upcoming August elections, the Democratic primaries in Minnesota. Though Congresswoman Omar may not represent the Sunshine State, Muslims in Florida are well aware of the importance of supporting her re-election. From Muslim businessmen to non-profit organizations, these Floridians recognize the significance of Muslim representation in U.S. politics and are pledging support for the Congresswoman. The politics, unfortunately, things are not getting any better. They're getting a harder and harder for Muslims. She has a lot of challenges, and uh, she has been in the Congress several times, and uh, she speaks her mind, uh, the way things are. And uh, I will ask her, she can make some few comments. Um, basically, we want to see, as a Muslim community, what we can do to engage our politicians to make a difference. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's services in the Foreign Affairs Committee speaks for itself. She lashed out not only at her colleagues in the Democratic Party, but also the President himself for supporting Israel's massacre of Palestinians. As bodies pile up, as neighborhoods are leveled, Israel has dropped more bombs in the last 10 days than we dropped in a whole year in Afghanistan. Where is your humanity? Where is your outrage? Where is your care for people? How is it that we have a president who is talking about releasing hostages, who is talking about getting American citizens out of Israel, but could not get himself to say, I want to save and work to save the hundreds, thousands of Americans is stuck in Gaza. What is wrong with you? Her sentiments is shared by majority of Muslim Americans, which is why she wants to continue her struggle if re-elected. I've gotten the opportunity to serve on the Foreign Affairs Committee, um, which is the only reason I wanted to, co went to Congress was to work on foreign policy because it's impacted my life and, and I care deeply about the way we carry out our foreign policy here, um, both because of the credibility that we could have and the good that we can do, um, but also as a superpower, there's a lot of damage that we can cause. One of Congresswoman Omar's biggest challenges, the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee known as AIPAC, which intends to infiltrate the Democratic Party by helping candidates who will support Israel. And they know the Congresswoman is their main resistance. And the majority of Congress is pro-Israel, but a new threat is on the rise. Small in numbers, but loud in reach, anti-Israel members of Congress are trying to destroy our partnership with Israel. Israel has violated basic human rights. We must condition aid to Israel and end the apartheid. We support pro-Israel candidates for Congress and defeat anti-Israel candidates. And so far, our strategy is working. In this election cycle, APAC members have changed the course of campaigns. We have given pro-Israel candidates the resources they need to win. Because of our work, more pro-Israel candidates won. More anti-Israel candidates lost. APAC really was, I think, very eager right after I got in um, to make sure I did not serve more than one term. Uh, previously, APAC never got involved in primaries. They didn't have a uh, community action committee. Um, but the February after I got sworn in, uh, they created their first um, Act, which is the, um, uh, the, the MFI, which is the Democratic Majority for, for Israel. Um, and it was created by uh, a former senator of, from Minnesota um, who wrote an op-ed and said, like, basically, we're doing this because we need to make sure that she is a one-term member of Congress. Um, 
the, this, this race to me is probably the most important race, not just for myself, um, but for, for the rest of us. Um, they have about $100 million they said they set aside to get rid of four of us. Uh, and so all four of us are really working together as much as we can um, to try to make sure <coughs> that they are not they are not successful because if they are to take, I mean I, I am probably like the one that they want the most. Uh, but even if they were to take out the 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 other three, one of the other three, <coughs> I think it would set us back and it would start to create fear in people and challenging them. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar will conclude her Florida tour by visiting other cities across the state, leaving a question among these Muslim. Can they find an Ilhan Omar among themselves to represent Florida? On Point News, Florida.